Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the CSS3 keyframes rule to um, animate a, a ball. Uh, we're not going to get to rotating back and forth just yet, that will be in subsequent tutorials. Let's get rid of that. Uh, where can you find all the information about CSS3 animation? Well, a good place to start is w3schools.com. Uh, learn CSS3 and CSS3 animations. I'm basically going to work through this. Uh, I'm going to use um, Notepad++ as my uh, text editor. Uh, I've set up uh, a basic web page with a link to a style sheet uh, and a div tag um, with ID ball and in here is the finished enough code to animate that ball um, but to start with I'm going to delete everything and put it back in from the W3 school site just to show how to build it up. Okay, what do you need to know before uh, you have a go at this? You need to know the basics of HTML. You need to know the basics of CSS, cascading style sheets. And you need to know about the box model, CSS box model, uh, which is basically using the div tag and styling it as a box. I've styled it here as a box width 100 pixels, height 100 pixels and I've got a background image of a ball. Um, position relative just means that the box will be uh, uh, anytime I move it will be relative to its original position on the page. Okay, all the information to skill up for there is on W3 Schools and many other sites as well. Uh, now if I save that and run this I'm going to be using Chrome um, to use CSS3 animations you need Chrome or Safari browsers okay um, no animation yet how do I get the animation well in the style sheet we have to add uh, the animation rule okay I'm going to go to uh, the W3 School site and here it is CSS3 keyframes rule to create animations in CSS3 you will have to learn about the keyframes rule the keyframes rule is where the animation is created specify a CSS style inside the keyframes rule and the animation will gradually change from the current style to the new style and they give an example of styling um, a div box red and then animating it going from red to yellow. Okay, now there's two versions of the rule here and one has got WebKit in it. This is uh, vendor specific uh, targeting. It targets a particular browser or a browser that uses the WebKit rendering engine. Uh, hopefully you know all about that but if you want to, it doesn't work basically, it'll only work in Safari and uh, Chrome and it'll only work if you put WebKit in front, so you have to have it. So I'm going to copy this and paste it into my style sheet. Okay, now uh, I don't want to animate going from red to yellow, so um, I want to animate the position of now there are s position of the div there are some examples here where they move uh, the div about so let's try yourself and can, not only is the color changing but the position of the div is changing uh, and I'm going to copy the code um, that does that go back into my text editor so instead of background red I'm going to paste in the uh, left naught pixels and if I paste in there uh, put 200 there 
this will animate between the le left property being 0 pixels to the left property being 200 pixels and that will move the div across. I'm going to change the name of the animation rule to bounce. Now if I save that and open the web page uh, nothing will happen because that uh, keyframes rule is not linked to any page element. To link it to a page element I have to bind it with the animation property. Okay and if we go back to um, the animation page on W3 schools we will see that it's keyframes rule and then now it says CS3 animation. When the animation is created in the keyframe bind it to a selector otherwise the animation will have no effect. Bind the animation to a selector by specifying at least two CS3 animation properties. The name of the animation which we just changed to, to browser and you have to give a, a duration and they give an example animation is the property and the values are my first which is the name of the rule and uh, five seconds which is the duration that won't work unfortunately you have to have the vendor specific web kit in front so I'm going to copy that and come back into my text editor and paste that in now uh, the name of my animation rule is not my first it's bounce and uh, five seconds is quite a long time so I'll just put one there uh, save the style sheet and let's see if we run this in Chrome yes we get some animation okay and there is the CSS there is the rule and the binding of the rule to the page element our div. Um, I'm going to finish the tutorial there I'll do another tutorial that shows how to add the rotation and bounce uh, around within a container you can see this tutorial at my website freemovies.co.uk uh, at the interactive channel there uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.